a very, very solid, safe, everyday man style fragrance. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to review a fragrance called Jaguar Paste. Lately I've been kind of guilty of buying a lot of oil house fragrances and a lot of Armand fragrances, so I haven't been looking for very many cheap style fragrances. Today we enter Jaguar Paste. My first impressions with this fragrance is that it's fresh, smooth, and has a little bit of light sweetness in the background. Kind of closer to Adidas style fragrances. It also reminds me a little bit of Abercrombie and Fitch Colden and a little bit of Armand's Craze Noir. It's kind of got this 2000 style fruity fresh a little bit of deodorant style a little bit of fruits in there overall very very likable a little bit of generic uh, 2000 style cologne in there but overall i do think it smells very very pleasant and very very good let's jump into the notes here the notes are rosemary black pepper iris green apple lavender and patchouli now i don't really get much of any of those notes granted this is kind of a little bit hard to describe i was just kind of giving you general vibes to this fragrance it is kind of hard to pin down, but at the same time, when you order this, nothing's groundbreaking or special. If you've tried 50 to, you know, 60, 70 fragrances, you know, all different kinds, this is a very, very solid, safe, everyday man style fragrance and cologne nothing really too interesting about it but nothing really too bad either more on like the higher like ability than super unique and i don't really get any iris in here usually iris gives a little zest to a fragrance if it is in there it is very light there's about five percent of this fragrance that has a little bit of uniqueness but overall this is just very right down the middle and reminiscent of adidas and Abercrombie fitch cold and style fragrances to me personally the pros it is likable and it's easy to wear and it is decent blended and is affordable so it is on the cheaper side it is very easy to wear it does have high likability it does have decent blending it's not overly good but it's not really really bad either it's right in the middle as far as the cons it doesn't last very long and it's not that unique I sprayed this three full days just really dousing myself up you know what's funny is one time I sprayed this on my hand and I thought I could smell it maybe up to like 10 12 hours a little bit on my hand but other times you know it seems to be going away around seven eight hours and there's times where I just spray this up a lot and I don't really feel like I have a lot of good projection. It doesn't really feel like a high projector. This is one that I'd maybe stick with indoors and this is one that you could literally spray 10 sprays and you go see somebody in 20 minutes and you won't be like screaming at all. It's okay. It's not bad. It is wearable, but this is one that I'd pass on personally. This one didn't really blow my mind and I probably wouldn't put this in my top cheap list just because I know of so many very good cheap fragrances and personally if you wanted a fragrance like this that kind of has this style fragrance but much bigger projection longevity i would go with craze noir the only problem i have with craze noir is that the cap broke craze noir is very very similar to this style of fragrance and it has a very very noticeable strong longevity and projection the only problem i have was that cap so hopefully they fix that cap issue but personally i'd recommend craze noir over this but it isn't bad and it's my first attempt with jaguar it's interesting to see fragrance houses mingle with car companies and see what they can come up with probably my favorite car company fragrance to this day is bentley intense but i ended up giving bentley intense away because i preferred ch ben Privé, and i just didn't want a fragrance that isn't my favorite in a category i'm just not going to wear it to compare to ch ben Privé, so i had to get rid of it but anyways smell i would give this probably a 7.5 it's very average, it's very solid, it smells good, but it's definitely not groundbreaking, but it definitely doesn't smell bad or off-putting either. And for likability, I'd probably give this an eight to an 8.5. It, that is probably its strongest point, is that it's very likable, very easy to wear. That's just where this excels. It's kind of like a pro and a con. You're not gonna do anything groundbreaking. You're not gonna make this new, great new fragrance doing that, but because it's likable, so many people can wear it. And then longevity and projection, I'd probably give this between a 6.5 to a seven. Not the strongest longevity and projection, I could spray this up a lot. I felt like I needed so many sprays and a lot of times, even with five, six sprays, I felt like I was almost having light projection very soon after wearing. Let me know if you tried Jaguar Pace. Let me know if you tried anything else from Jaguar. Let me know if I should try any other cheap fragrances. Let me know if I should try out any other car company fragrances. I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. I couldn't do that. Any of you guys help you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace. Let me know if you I tr 